And in Chilton, a candlelit vigil was held for victims of domestic abuse tonight. NBC 26's Ryan Curry was at that vigil and spoke with a survivor who is now on a mission to help others in abusive relationships. Active participation in the healing process helps all others afflicted by domestic abuse. For another year now, Harbor House of Calumet County held a candlelight vigil for the victims who have lost their lives to domestic violence. We bonded really fast. Before I knew it, I moved in with him in March of 2017. Elise Michaels was once in a relationship where her boyfriend repeatedly beat her when they were together. It was horrible, painful, very painful. The whole, the whole past couple of years. Her boyfriend is currently in jail for abusing her. Tonight at the vigil, she spoke about her experience. She says she wants to be a light for anyone suffering from an abusive relationship. I believe it's a very growing situation. People are being abused every day behind closed doors. And, and it's very hard to get away. And it's very terrifying. The theme of the evening was I am you. Harbor House says they chose this motto because they wanted to remind people suffering from abuse they are not alone. Even if you're not a survivor, even if you don't have been, you haven't been directly affected by it, indirectly, we are all affected by domestic violence. By sharing her experience, Michaels hopes to inspire anyone afraid to leave the person who is abusing them. And her message, seek help. Do not be afraid to reach out. And, and if you can't, you know, do little things yourself. Educate yourself, like, you know, so you're not caught in that fog of what they produce. And you can see here, Ascension Hospital has decorated the outside of their building with the color of domestic violence awareness. For this entire month of October, people hope that domestic violence can be limited here in Wisconsin. Forty in Chilton, Ryan Curry, NBC 26.